Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Banjo Kazooie. Uh, this is Ninja Sloth 64. In the last part, we uh, took care of just about everything except for a few things that I forgot. And in this part, we'll take care of business and finish up Gooby's Valley. Okay, first thing that I forgot was a few. Stay out of the sand, preferably. Okay, whatever. First thing I forgot to do, I did remember to hit that switch and get the honeycomb. Like, I will get the honeycomb. Thing I did forget, though, is so we jump in here. Here's the green ginjo I forgot about. <clears throat> so, yeah. We got all the ginjos. Which means we just have one more note left. Okay, so now we just got one more jiggy left in this world. And it's way back at the beginning. So, if you remember... Um... If you remember, when we first started this level... We talked to uh, that one guy called Trunker. He was talking about how he needed, needed water. Well, now that we've uh, taken care of pretty much everything else in this world, let's go back to the beginning and see how things are shaping up. And sure enough, right here back at the start is Gobi. This tree looks a bit thirsty, but I need all my water for myself. Oh. Well, that's not very nice. Let's uh, punish him. So if you ground pound him, he pukes up all the water and gives it to Trunker. And Gobi run runs off again. And Trunker's going to uh, going to grow. And uh, he can't climb Trunker, so you got to come over to one of these other trees and climb. Uh, all right. So. We're going to jump over here and get the last Jiggy. Awesome. Awesome sauce. Alright. So now we just have the two honeycombs to collect. And there are several notes that I need to find. So, yeah. We'll cut to that. Okay, the first thing I missed, real quick, if you jump on the Sphinx's tail, there's a pair of waiting boots. We can use these to pick up the notes. So I'm pretty sure this will give us all the notes we need. So let's go ahead and run through here and pick them all up real quick. If this isn't all of them, I'll be kind of upset. Because <laughs> this is one of the hardest worlds to research if you uh, miss them. Okay, I'm missing five. Uh, some I'll probably get. I'll probably ring a bell somewhere. We'll figure it out. Anyway, so now we need to get on top of here again and go to the flight pad so we can go and get the honeycomb. Man, th those five notes are really starting to worry me. I don't know where I could have missed some. I'll probably find them. I'm hoping I'll find them. Uh, don't believe me, I'm not leaving this world until I do. And as painful as that will be, you know, I'm going to have to... I'll search. Huh. Anyway. I don't even really remember where I'm supposed to be searching. Hang on. I think it's over here. Oh, yeah, it's right here. Alright. So we're going to uh, come over to this cactus, the one that we made the... Uh, okay, I'm going to save state in case I mess this up. We need to get this honeycomb, but... Be careful, because if you mess this up, you will get hit. In most cases, that's not big of a deal. But in my case, um, I can't be wasting any health, especially when that one hit would be enough to kill me. Alright, so we got the honeycomb. And now we just got one more to get. Along with, actually, now that I think about it, I think I know where the last notes are at. Just need to figure out where I'm going. I think it's back here. Yeah, it's over here. So if we come over here over to this ledge there's Gobi along with our last five notes hey Gobi oh shit okay we're good let's pick up these notes we got all 100 notes and at last Gobi had our uh, our honeycomb the whole time that's it I'm leaving this desert to find some peace and quiet and with that, uh, Gobi is like, piss off, and he leaves. 
and with that, we get another unit of health. So, um, that's 100% for this world. So, yeah, now we got some stuff to do in the overworld. I'll cut to that. Alright, first thing we need to do, it's pretty simple, we need to go get that one jiggy from the witch switch, which is right in here. So, if you, uh, if you come in here, first of all, I, I'm curious, I need to figure out what's in here. I'll probably remember once I open this. Oh, okay, those are meant to get into the world safely. The world we were just in, okay. Uh, where is it at? It's up on, it's on one of the walls, here it is. The coffin, if you remember, there was the GE open, this is probably one of the more simple ones to get. You just jump, wait a minute, is it? Oh, you're supposed to use the shock jump pad. Alright, let's wait for that to come back around. Actually, I should probably be facing the jiggy. Could probably make that easier. And, oh, come on. Oh, well, I'm on top of the coffin. <laughs> Alright. There we go, got it. So in the overworld, that's Jiggy number six. Uh, we're missing two, actually. I'm trying to figure out which ones those are. Am I missing two? No. Okay. I thought we were seven worlds into the game. I told you I keep thinking that Gobi's Valley is world seven. I really don't know why I think that. I guess I used to think that world six was like a cave level or something. Maybe I'm just thinking of Mario. Anyway. Now we need to, uh... Now we need to get this jiggy, the one from uh, the one from Frizzy Peak. This one is a pain in the ass, especially if you're running an emulator. But basically, we needed the running shoes to do this. So if you come back here, if you recall, when we got the witch switch, uh, the jiggy showed up at the very top of this picture here. So if we get on top of here um yeah and then we run over here still we're nowhere close to the top um hang on what's over here pretty sure there's a mumbo token if we come up here yeah there's a mumbo token up here but we're still nowhere close to the top like the jiggy the jiggy is in a different section but if you see this, we can hit this and make a flight pad appear. Uh, and we have 12 seconds to get it, people. So here's where uh, you have to move. <laughs> and you can't waste any time here. I mean, you really can't. It, if you run out of your running shoes, the animation to get, them, to get out of them takes too long. Like, even if you feel like you have extra time. So it's not the time limit of the pad flying away, or breaking, as much as the shoes going away. Like that, it's more of that kind of time limit, if that makes sense. I know it probably doesn't. Anyway. Well, if I can get up here. Okay. So this is take like, I don't know, five or six of trying to do this. It's pretty difficult. And I got it that time, awesome. So this isn't going to be too relevant by the time this comes up, but um, I just got a new subscriber uh, the other day, and I got to say thanks, man. You know, I really enjoy making these videos, and I'm, as I'm sure some of you already know, at one point, I did make Let's Plays of, uh, like, Super Mario World and, and stuff, and I made one of, ow, don't do that, okay, I made one of, uh, what was it, Leaf Green, Pokemon Leaf Green, and I never finished either of those, like, I felt like, but now that I'm recording this, like, I didn't get a chance to record yesterday, and I was sad about it, I really was, and I, that's when I realized I actually enjoy this this specific LP. I didn't like with uh, with Super Mario World and with Leaf Green. It felt like a chore. It really did. But when I'm playing this game, you know, 
I'm sad when I when I find out I don't have time to record today. You know, I don't have time to record today, or you know, um, or I need to wait until later so that I don't get behind my uploading schedule or whatever. You know, I I love this game, guys, and it took me until uh until a few days ago to realize that you know the really the most important thing you can do in an LP is actually play a game that you know you're going to love you know if you if you don't enjoy playing the game I'm gonna jump in here for no particular reason if you enjoy the game you love then you're going to have a much better LP of it you're going to have much better commentary and everything along with that I also realized that it takes a good balance of uh, talking about the game and talking about other random crap. Like, in my Mario, like my Super Mario World Let's Play, all I talked about was myself. I never said anything about the game, it was boring. In my Leaf Green Let's Play, all I talked about was the game and nothing else, and it was really boring. So as you can see, I, I, at least I feel I have a nice balance of both elements in this episode, in this in this uh, series, I feel like it's a lot more. Uh, I feel like it's a lot more enjoyable. I think my commentary is starting to come more up to par. Anyway, I hate to end my video with ramblings. I really planned on uh, getting a few things done, but whatever. In this episode, not in this episode. In the next episode, uh, we will take care of some jiggies that were otherwise unaccessible so yeah this has been just 64 and i'll see you guys later bye